Hi babes, welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion, I'm Auntie Chan. I'm Dobby Babes. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P stands for pressure. It's a lot of pressure coming up with new P's every time. I saw you sitting you there trying that. to yeah. figure it you out. You just took your truth and you said, okay. Yeah, and also you, you, you said it, so you gave me the idea. Oh, I did it. I did it. Mm -hmm. You padiddled. But you know what's made under pressure? <laughs> what? Hot meals inside a pressure cooker. Well, that's She's a hot meal. You're a oh. hot meal. Ooh. You're a whole hot meal. <laughs> <laughs> you're a, and, and you're a hot hole. Thank you. <laughs> Filled with soup? <laughs> what kind of soup? Wait, yeah, what kind of soup would our holes be? Oh, well, Chili. that's... In yeah. a bread bowl. It's right there. <laughs> In, a In a bread bowl. bowl. In a bread hole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I thought you were going to say... French onion. It starts with a C. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's too early. We'll get there. <laughs> Chowder. We'll chowder. Come chowder. chowder. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. I'm a lady. I'm not supposed to be laughing at these things. You <laughs> chowder. Can I get come chowder in a multi grain bowl, please? <laughs> You're singed. Be careful. You're singed. You're singed. Oh my I gosh. wasn't gonna go there that early. You <laughs> did it. <laughs> Who did what? Wait, can I actually? Where is that other fan? You can did I have you. That you girls made me laugh. I know. Well, you made yourself laugh. We did nothing. Release. Oh yeah. That was release. My, <laughs> that was a release. Yeah, you needed that. Oh my god, yeah. I'm literally crying. So, how was your week? <laughs> It's just so gratifying to get to it, you yeah, know? Yeah. My week's good. The sun is shining. People are getting their vaccines. Oh, yeah. It is it feels energy wise the one age from the week before. It's kinda crazy how yes. it goes from here to there. Yeah. People absolutely. don't if you don't live in Chicago or a winter town, for the last I would say week, we have been slogging through slush. And to come out yesterday and feet of slush. Feet, feet of, of slush. slush like five and feet. to come out yesterday and not have to like put effort into just walking yeah, for the first time. Strange. It really does lighten up the mood. Mm -hmm. Is it more fun for you? JB misses the snow. She really enjoyed the snow. You I enjoyed it? She, she there were some really cute videos of her dolphining. She dolphined through yeah. like five feet of snow. Not only is the weather better, but we also started our two queen singing again. Mm. We did. Mm. Yeah. Um, hydrate. There were a smaller number of people and they were very far apart and everyone had masks on and everything. Yeah. But other than that, it did feel very normal. Mm -hmm. Like we were on stage while well, we were behind a clear shower We were behind a, a clear shower curtain. But, but we were drinking alcohol with microphones in our hands yeah. and I miss doing that. It was oh, great. Nice. And I think people are just, whether they know it or not, I think people are hungry for live entertainment. They are. Yeah. So I'm hoping there'll be a boom after this. Mm -hmm. If you would like to see that Two Queens Singing concert, concert, sure, that we gave last Our night. Our concert series. It's up on Patreon. Yeah, Ooh. it's going to be up on Patreon. The whole thing. Oh my God, the whole thing? Mm -hmm. Whole. Well, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to cut Will a couple you take things out the, the, part, the bad parts? Oh, uh, when you sang? Any updates on your oil rig lover, <gasps> Mr. Danny? Danny! Yeah, he is so sweet. He is so sweet. Things are... Yeah. Going along swimmingly. Because he's in, yeah. Because he's on a rig, you have to swim to get out to it. Yeah, absolutely. But um, he has to swim to get every to the day rig. to work. He swims back. Well, and I think forth. he sleeps on. We don't talk about him much. He's so curious. He asks me about me a lot. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like for instance, mm -hmm. the other day, he's <laughs> my curious, curious boy. He asked me for a picture of my house and a picture of my car and what my pets' names were. Mm. Isn't that so sweet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and did you follow through? Did you send him that information? Yeah, he did. Because we were really connecting on like an emotional level. Because you felt level. like that was like an intimate thing that he wanted to know. Not yeah. that like perhaps a pet's name would be like a security question, answer, or anything like that. It's a weird kind of connection you made there, but no. I know. It was quite a jump. It was like mm -hmm. I jumped from one oil rig to another. I apologize. Yeah, which is fun. They do that during the summer. Yeah. They call it the oil rig game. I feel and... like he's on to something. Like he, he wants more than just you. Oh, he wants a whole lot more than just me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Has he said that? Did you read 
any of the comments though. You read the comments. Like well, you I read how worried people are. I have what? They're worried. Mm -hmm. They want you to be happy, right? Like we want her to be happy. I want oh. you to be happy. Yeah. You're so sweet. Uh, you I, girls I, I are want so to protect sweet. you. Yeah. There might you might get something else out of this other than happiness or crabs. It may get a little darker. Well, a little baby. What? A baby? He wants kids. Okay. Are you gonna have to send them iTunes gift cards too? Well, hopefully they'll be sending us iTunes gift cards, you know? What other reason is there to have kids, but um, then for them for to the make iTunes them do gift stuff? Cards. To make them yeah. work, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that sounds lovely. Yeah, that sounds I great. Hope that, I hope that keeps up. It's been really solid. It's been, what, a week now, so. Oh, it's really I solid. I feel really good, I feel really good. I feel really good. Did you talk to a real person this week? Uh, this week I did talk to a real person. Ramona. Ramona <gasps> Slick. Yeah. Ramona Slick. Uh, they sewed this hair. Oh! It was a blonde wig and they sewed some uh, Wait, black it looks wefts so into cool. it. Isn't it giving you Christina Aguilera? Yeah, dirty. Yes. Yeah. You look very angsty. Really? I love how bones are. You look like you're the person that killed Avril Lavigne and replaced her with the other <gasps> Avril Lavigne. Is that a, like a conspiracy That's real. Theory? It's not a conspiracy. It's true. <laughs> Avril Lavigne's dead. She's been replaced. And Katy Perry is Jean Benet Ramsey. Those are just facts. Who was the? Those are facts. What is the conspiracy theory? Oh, it was Britney during her conservatory. Not conservatory. Conservatorship. 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 Yes. Sure. I don't know. Conservation of the environment. When she was conserving the environment, the environment <laughs> yeah. Robin was doing like backup vocals and like they had someone do Britney Spears' vocals for her like circus era. <gasps> That's a conspiracy theory. No, like, I don't like that. Conservatorship. I mean. Someone was doing. That was such a good album. I hope she got double Grammys I on hope that. She got, one mm -hmm. for her and one for Avril Lavigne too, or mm -hmm. whoever did the vocals. Mm -hmm. Did you talk to a real person? <laughs> Yeah. I did, What's actually. the tea? <gasps> I, d I don't want to go into too much detail because it would be like a 30-minute story. I talked to my dad. Ooh. Darby! I haven't talked to my dad in six years. It all came down to he's very old. Like, he's almost 80. He fell for an iTunes gift card scam this week. Oh. Like, an email. Ooh. Yeah, like, he's bumbling around, and it's very stressful on my mom. And so my brother and I have talked, and we both don't really have a relationship with him, but we were like, we can at least help him have his own stuff to do. He is just kind of this old, bumbling old man who doesn't know what world he's in anymore. And anyway, so I called him. He immediately starts talking about himself. Haven't talked to him in six years. Okay. Hello? Hey, son. Hi, Dad. It's been a while. How are you? Good. I bought this new office chair. And then... <laughs> and then uh, it's the life of It's the life. Dad. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't say I talked to my dad. I listened to him mm -hmm. talk about an office chair for like 25 minutes. Oh, and he's watching The Closer with Kira Sedgwick. Uh, and that just, show, like, from 19... Yes, he just discovered it, and he says it's very good. <laughs> it's not like the shows of today that include way too much sex. Boo. Oh, good. She got a toy. This is a perfect time to play, Jamie. All right. Where were we? Well, I think it might be a good opportunity to, to move into why we're all here today. Yeah. Which is? RuPaul's Drag... Wait, should we say it all at the same time? Yes. RuPaul's, RuPaul's Drag, Drag Race. Race. UK. UK season two. two. Episode, episode seven. 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 In heaven. In it. We start this week having just said goodbye to Miss Tia Coffee. There's no beverages in the workroom. Tia mm -mm. Coffee has exited the building. Tia Coffee. And... And the tea was hot. <laughs> <laughs> hot out the door. I'm gonna see if I can play fetch with her. Well, because she's trying to play. Okay, keep going. Oh, I'm so cute. You'll this play fetch? That's like a good idea. Go. When we're filming. So this brings the girls to the conversation of who do we think is going home next? <gasps> Ahora says Sister Sister, and Sister Sister punts it to Miss Ellie Diamond, which I think sister's sister, I think she came back from quarantine break with Delusional. a brand new attitude. I think she went home and studied American Drag Race and tried to see what all the crazy ones did and tried to come back yeah. with this like false confidence. Well, that's what's, like we say it all the time. We love a self-aware queen. We love a self-aware queen. Sister's sister does not seem to be aware of herself. Mm. Correct. I was a little surprised that everyone said Ellie Diamond. She's definitely not the weakest. She was saying, they were saying that she hasn't shown a lot of versatility, which is like, I mean, I guess, but what she's showing has been consistently good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if it's consistent and good, like I she mean, does have a skill she can craft. Bianca Del Rio did the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, true. 
And she's still telling the same jokes. But who's in a mansion in Miami right now? I know. God or damn Florida, it, you're you know? Right. Speaking of readers, it's the library. <gasps> the library. Remember last year they did like tea time or whatever? Yeah, this mm -hmm. time they brought out 3D glasses. They were like, hey, <laughs> yeah. is the budget less? Do you have some like paper 3D glasses? Yeah, I just saw the minions. <laughs> what was that about? Like, I don't know. Whoa. Whoa. That comes from a cereal box, that toy that you <laughs> yeah. just made. <laughs> yes. What are we doing? I thought overall this reading challenge was good. They had time. They had time to go home and write stuff. Mm -hmm. Every single person was like on. It came from hate. Yeah. <laughs> they came from hate. That's the secret weapon. That's what mm -hmm. you need. It's like, how do I get assassinate her? Yeah. It started with Sister Sister going strong. And as soon as Sister Sister was that. able to deliver, I was like, okay, this is going to be good because... I expected nothing from her. I'm yeah. so mean. I'm so uh, I'm so mean. No, I mean, I feel like before the break, Sister was kind of a shrinking violet, wallflower vibes. And then when she came back, I think she realized I have to be more here. I have to be more present. She got but as loud as say, her teeth. I will. <laughs> she's as well self-aware about that because her exit line. Oh, yeah. That was she's, good. She's got to That was her. good. Who was the one that did the read about Thames? Well, um, I had to look at what Thames... Oh, you didn't know. Well, I didn't know. I didn't know Thames. Oh, I think it's a river, right? Yeah. What is it? The it river was, Thames. I want to get it right. It's transanal endoscopic microsurgery. Transanal. Now I don't know what that means, but that's I identify not, as it. That's not a, transanal. That's not. That's not the Under Thames. The, umbrella. the Thames is a river. What? The Thames is a river. No, no, I think we're onto something. No, here. no. T E M S. No. It's transanal endoscop uh, endoscopic <laughs> microsurgery. You do that surgery when you no. have some blood yes, on your butt. Yes, I've had that done a couple times, and I didn't feel like I was riding on the Thames. I'll have you know. The Thames is a river, but yeah. it, but it also could be it, it makes the read better, in my opinion. And get your get your anal pap smears, okay? Piece of Thames, smear, the Thames me. River. The Thames River. It's not that funny anymore. I'm excited for you to go on the Thames River <laughs> one day and be like, this doesn't feel like this anything about my butthole. being trans anal. <laughs> have you all ever mm. seen, have you all ever seen The River Wild starring Meryl Streep and Kevin Bacon? Of course, Bacon? of course. Have you ever seen it? Mm-mm. Ooh, it's really good. It's about Meryl Streep and her family go on a, a river rafting. And it's wild. And then Kevin Bacon says, give me your money and then drive us down. And she's like, I can't do that with my kids. And, and it's a kid from Jurassic Park. That sounds like a high stress movie. Kid from Jurassic Park did that and then immediately worked with, he worked with the T-Rex and Meryl Streep in the same year. Don't say T-Rex. Oh. Oh, and also someone, someone tweeted it on Twitter, Ahura using the reading challenge as a, a way to talk about sitting on Tace's face or something. Yeah, like, yeah. Making LOL. it. Which they, they still deny. Of course, Lawrence was like, oh, that's all the proof I need. You know, it's really exciting. <laughs> Because when they got to Lawrence's talking head, the accent was so insane. I had to rewind it ah! and like really listen because I couldn't understand a word. <laughs> I knew it. You are doing it all the time. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. I don't know. That sounded French. Yeah, you it, love French. Yeah, I love it. all your macaroni and cheese. Oh know. yeah, classic French dish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. main challenge is being announced. RuPaul says, we're doing a COVID lockdown super shiro, so you're gonna have to use these unconventional materials and make a superhero costume. I love an unconventional materials design challenge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel very confident in that. Do you? What have you made out of unconventional materials? Well, my favorite I've ever made was this tent dress. I had the I was supposed to oh, make yeah. a that dress out of a tent. And then you sunk down into the tent and came <laughs> out with an outfit. It was well, camp. Oh, it was camp. It was camp. It was, it was queen was, of camp. I've also made dresses out of bags. True. Why'd you point at us when you said bags? Because I made one for you. Because you're a old I made bag. a dress out of bags. <laughs> yeah. I respect you more if you just say it. Yeah. Sister Sister won the reading challenge, so she gets a 15 second head start. Mm -hmm. And she to get into that big mound of to materials. Be such, that was such a dick move. That was so violent. Yeah. For what? Mm -hmm. This is mine, this is mine too, and this is mine. And like when they run for that kind of stuff on Drag Race, you see that in the end, they end up like switching stuff around. It's like, oh, I'm not going to use that if you want to take that. Like, yeah. After that, I love it when Ahura was like kind of lurking about pink panthering around and she's like hey and sister could have used that as in a moment to be like yeah i can give you some of my extras but she didn't nope. instead she was just such a dick she was a 
dick this whole episode. That's what I was saying. She seems like a different person than who we originally met. It's those teeth. Shiny There's a chip teeth. in them. Yeah, there's a chip. That's really... Oh, yeah, that chip was one on of her shoulder. Didn't Sister say about Ahura, when she heard that the government was putting a chip inside of us, she asked for a side of... Maybe that was about Bimini. Oh, it was about Ellie. They were doing Ellie or stupid jokes. Oh. Yeah. Which is like... Come on. Well, we don't know her. <laughs> Ellie... Really? Would you please send Stupid. us some algebra so that we can oh, make sure? Oh, Ellie and algebra, algebra. Algebra. She Many can... years I have waited. How stupid is she? For a gift like yours to appear. She studied for the COVID test. Oh! <laughs> yeah. What am I watching? That what was, is no, this? That was very that was timely. Kind of, that was timely. That I was, was like, clever. oh my that was God. Clever. I've that taken one of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We should have studied. We cheated though, we cheated. When we did our COVID test together, our last one that we did, we were in the car and when they handed us the swab, they like watch you do it. So we had to pee on it. Yeah. And it was, it was funny because I peed on hers and she peed on James yeah. and Jim peed on my And at the end, we found out all of us have lupus. <laughs> <laughs> the strip is supposed to go clear. It went like green. <laughs> Rue's walkabout. We're getting down. There's mm -hmm. only a couple episodes left. We'll stand so about with stand about with every single member mm -hmm. still there. What well, she had uh, her special guest. Oh, she brought out Raven, mm -hmm. who entered in dark mode, and Alexis. Can I not say that? <laughs> <laughs> you moved on so quick too. <laughs> you thought you'd slip it in. Is that funny? Or is That's it... the funniest thing I think you've ever said. Yes. Is funny or is it rude? No, it was amazing. It's not rude. That's uh, what happened. <laughs> She's very tan right now. Her face, though, that beat. That beat. It's oh, so it's intimidating. There's a reason why she's doing RuPaul. There is nobody better. Ugh. And I did actually, I did love all the moments because these these girls, I would as I would be too, are excited to meet her. She yeah. truly left her mark mm -hmm. on drag. Mm -hmm. She continues to leave her mark on RuPaul's face. Yeah. <laughs> An Emmy Award winning paint. Yeah. Isn't that yeah. crazy? Isn't that fun? Yeah. yeah. And seeing the girls get a little starstruck, which is very much how it should be. That's mm -hmm. really cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Dark mode. Oh, Ellie got props from Raven. Can you imagine mm -hmm. a higher honor? Well, Ellie's paint is stunningly gorgeous. And mm -hmm. I did have that thought, like, as soon as it was Ellie's turn, I was like, ooh, I wonder if Raven's seen her face yet. Well, I love that she's getting this praise because yeah. she deserves it. Ellie does a yeah. cartoonish paint, which I love. Mm -hmm. Like, I love when queens, like, are trying to look like a cartoon character IRL. But it's still, like, stunningly gorgeous. But still is very yeah. beautiful. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Fuck you, Ellie. Fuck you. No, we love her. Um, no, we love her, but we can't be happy for other people. No, 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 We're Americans. Yeah. No. I noticed they start to try and plant the seeds of doubt in Ahura. They're like, oh, really? Are you sure you want to do that? And Ahura's like, no, I got this. She's like super confident. Yeah, I could even tell the editors were like trying to do the whole like, oh, we don't know if she's going to be good. And then, oh, wait, she turned out to be good. And Ahura wasn't playing into that at no. all. Because even yeah. though when they would like edit in her talking head, she's like, I don't know. I feel like I can make this work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she was just totally confident. Do you know what I learned? So my friend James, who taught me about Eurovision. Very British. Very British. He used to work at the BBC. He told me. What they do here in America is like if someone rolls their eyes about something else, they might put it in a different scenario to make it look like, you know, to cause drama production. Mm -hmm. They are not allowed to do that in the BBC because one time, allegedly, <gasps> they filmed the Queen getting a photo shoot with Annie Leibovitz and they made it look like she got mad at the photographer and walked out. But what they really were seeing was her walking in to the photo shoot oh. and the Queen and the Crown and the Royals were like, no, 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 no. So there's like a whole thing now you're not allowed to like fake edit storylines everything has to be how it is Ooh. wow yeah use of information the british media i mean i was joking when i said subscribe to the sun because i saw a lot of people were like no it's terrible i'm like i know you know those magazines at the supermarket aisle the inquirer yeah and it'd be like bat boy oh, mary's bat boy. pregnant teen like mm. those mm. kind of that's like their media at all Ugh. times not all. I'm not I'm speaking really loud. generally, but you have you have Pierce Morgan back. Like we even turned away Pierce Morgan, mm -hmm. and he's now on Good Morning Britain. The P will never be for Pierce Morgan. No, he's an asshole. Maybe it, when he dies. <gasps> wow. Too wow. far? Well, well, I don't know that he's that bad. No, isn't he? I don't know. Are you Googling? You're right. I shouldn't. Have. No, I no, oh. I I think he should. <laughs> <laughs>
Bimini was a little questionable at first. I don't know if it was intentional, if she was trying to be really goofy because she had that dress up with the toilet paper titties mm -hmm. and the two feathers and I'm like, she's not she's not gonna go out. She seemed that. very cool the whole time. Like she didn't yeah. seem nervous. I think it was a little put on. Yeah. Like for herself. Okay, here's the tea on this episode. Not a lot was happening on this episode. No, 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 no. Not a it was no, just no, them no, in the workroom no. dicking around. What, so this what, this what, was her trying to give something to them. What wetting around? Dick, no. Digging. I said digging, like excavate. Oh, okay. Like you know when you dig for oil? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then cum comes out of it. <laughs> <laughs> then boom, cum! <laughs> All right. Remember when you lost it earlier? <laughs> I'm having a good day. Good. That's good. I'm excited to be here with you, you girls. You should be excited. Um, Taste is going to do the scrubbers, the, um, what are they called? Scour. Steel wall. Steel, Steel wall. wall. And they say, really? And Taste says, yeah, of course. And then immediately cuts yeah, herself. Her that was sad. That was scary. Mm -hmm. I didn't like that. But I think we've seen that before. I mean, not the wound on the hand, but I think we've seen where people take too long kind of deconstructing whatever they're going to use that by the end, they don't have enough time to actually make it into something. Yeah, and still mm. wool was done, as they said, last year on... Okay, but to be honest, I like this way better than, than Bagus. This is better. Oh, absolutely, yes, but yeah. But also, wasn't it done on Holland as well? Or Canada, maybe? I think it was Canada. Someone did it where it was like long hanging down. Would that have been the metal group? We'll have to go back and figure that out. Uh, rewind the tape. Bing. Oh wait, did y'all hear, uh, did y'all see when they, I think it was at the beginning, they threw a little shade at Veronica. Lawrence was like, I miss Veronica. And everyone was like, yeah. Yeah, dead silent. And you know that's real because I just learned that you can't mislead information. You can't. So. Well, because the queen, the she queen. was shooting that she was photo shoot. She was upset. But yeah, yeah, she was not having it. <laughs> It's the next day. Sister is taking Raven's advice. Oh yeah, sister asked her how to do co beard cover up, which is a constant struggle for me. I know. Me too. Red, red works for me. Oh, red works for you? I know I've that we're supposed to be like doing peach, peach now. But peach doesn't work for me. Mm. I want to get LASIK. My friend is getting laser hair removal. You want to get LASIK on, or laser hair remover on your face? Yes. Take my money. Get it off now. It's not that I expensive I do not care. Too. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. I do not ever. Even if I want a beard later, I'll I'll do a I'll do a lace front. There you go. But I won't. I don't see myself ever wanting a beard. I think I would do the same thing too. I want really? it. Really? I yeah. want it gone. Oh, I can see my. I can be. I'm gonna be a late in life beard guy. I can tell. Really? Oh yeah. I'm gonna go to pick up my grandkids, and they'll be like, "Which one's yours?" And they'll be like, "Santa." Oh, hey kids. That's fun. Get in my flying car. Yeah, and then I'll have a drink in my oh, hand. Oh, okay. Of course, that's, that does sound sweet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> drink in your hand, mm -hmm. and you'll be in a sleigh with eight reindeer. Mm -hmm. That'll no, be a flying weird. car because it's the future. Oh. Don't be ridiculous. That's the Elon Musk. That's what he's up to. Well, he'll be, he'll be dead then. <laughs> oh, um, really? Okay. Yeah, I've seen the future. And then we have another, a lovely moment with Sister and Lawrence, and they talk about bullying, and we go more into Lawrence's kind of origin story mm, of mm -hmm. having people bully them for no reason whatsoever. I know I've been there. I mean, mm -hmm. the reason's probably that I'm gay. But Yeah, that's why I bully you. <laughs> why are you going to be so gay? <laughs> You're gay. <laughs> Please stop. No, because you're gay. <laughs> Every time I see you, I just want to throw a dildo at you. But then I know you'll like it. Yeah. <laughs> that was far. Uh, no. How far are you threw the dildo? Yeah. That was far. So, 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 so. Touching moment about being bullied. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've talked about this. We've all been about being yeah. gay, being bullied for being gay. We, Super fun. It, love it. it. Have any of you ever tried being a bully? I mean, not just with me, Darby, but like in general growing up. Were you ever like, you know, oh. let me be the aggressor? You know what? Yeah. I would read back when the bully would, would start. I would read back quickly and I knew what hurt them. And now you're not going to try it again. <laughs> That's what you did kind of a Lawrence. You, you shot back. I mean, I know we've done bully stories a thousand times, but like there was a house full of bullies, six boys that were all born like a year apart and mm -hmm. they were all just kind of gross. They were on our bus and there was a couple that always kind of, you know, faggot and sh shit like that. And I would just sit there and I always had a ring on. I was super into rings. I would just turn the ring and just go, <laughs> oh yeah, my promise ring. Cause I was gonna, like I was a really slutty second grader and my parents were like, put this ring on. And then I would just cry when I got to school. Oh. But. Once I got to school and I, I started crying, then other kids would laugh. So it was it was a vicious cycle. That's the payoff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you said vicious cycle. Yeah. But he's dead. The, the <gasps> oldest oh. brother died in a car accident. Someone has to break the cycle of hate. Yeah. Well, the car accident. The did. car accident did. <laughs> Hello, car. 
we're gonna head into the runway. First, of course, is Rue. Now, Rue comes out in a very classic Rue look, like yeah. early Rue. Ooh. That blonde updo, I like and then the teal. the teal dress. That, that's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I, I liked it a lot. Yeah, it me too. It felt like a throwback. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I felt like her energy was pretty in the middle too, this episode. Like she wasn't really hyped like she was in the other episode. Well, yeah, she had lost her mind in other episodes. She had to so be I nicer. Think maybe she's like calmed down a little. Maybe they gave her a tranquilizer. Mm. Maybe the BBC her. was like, hey, you can't be so mean. Excuse me, lo love. love. You can't be so mean. And you also can't edit because the queen one time, she was going into the, mm. and then it made it look like she was walking out mm -hmm. of the photo shoot. I heard that. You can't do that. Mm -mm. Who's the guest judge? Her name is Maya Rudolph. Uh, Maya Jama. Maya Jama. Is it is that how you say it? Maya Jama. Maya Jama. Maya Jama. Maya Jama. Maya Jama. Fibromyalgia. Fib That's a very serious thing. That and is that's a serious what thing. Uh, Jenny Lemon has, right? <gasps> Was it fibromyalgia? No, I think so. no, no, no. She had um scoliosis. The British television and radio presenter. Okay. That's a big thing over there oh where people, That's... their stars just for being like TV presenters. What is a TV presenter? Like they host random shit okay. and they become famous for just being hosts. Like if Fergie Wait. from New Year's Rocking Eve. Yeah. The runway is unconventional materials. Hey, did you finish your garment? Up first, <laughs> we have Taste. Taste. Now she is, of course, in all of those still pads, wool. still wool, unraveled, just a floaty. Even when taste doesn't hit the mark, she still looks exquisite. She does. Yeah. Which is what every judge started with. Mm -hmm. Your hair and makeup is gorgeous, which is a bad sign. If they're on the runway and they start with your hair and makeup, it's a problem. They it's a bad sign it. for your look, but for her, they, it really is true. Yeah, no, totally. But I actually liked the top. I liked the yeah. construction of the top. She just then was like, well, I'm just going to like steal wool my pussy. And that's, <laughs> I mean, usually that's fun, mm -hmm. but not in this case. <laughs> it was it's just like a, a string, a disconnecting string. Yeah, it was like string. a thong backwards. You ever Weird. done that? Have we ever worn a thong backwards? Yeah. You like no, there's something in the front. It stops it. Dong. A thong backwards. That's what it looked like. So it's straight, yeah. It was, it was bad. It was bad. It was an immediate, that was as soon bad. as she walked it out, was I rough. was like, oh, she's in it the It was bottom. rough. For sure. It was rough. Yeah. Then we had Lawrence. Oh, I forgot they're superheroes. So Taste was, is that real? I'm so sorry. Exfoli. Exfoli on a bolt. Taste sell up. Yep, Ex yep. Exfoli on a bolt. Bolt. Okay. And then Lawrence was... Lawrence of Chania. Lawrence of Chania. Why'd you write Lazy Lawrence? Oh, because they That's came out. That's the intro. Remember the intro of the boy? Oh, they came I out see. as boy. By the way, what, what a mind fuck to walk out on that stage as a boy, like in front of judges. Mm -hmm. I doubt that they in were pajamas. in front of judges. That's misleading. You think that they went out and, they, and the judges are sitting there and they're like, hang on a second, I'll be back in three hours. <laughs> And then the judges just sit there away. Yeah, that's what I thought they did. <laughs> <laughs> TV magic. Although, you can... Okay, so in the BBC, you cannot edit it. Okay! That's what okay. I'm saying. Okay. Well, maybe that did happen that way. Well, no, they can't make anything false. Maybe that is what happened. Call the BBC. Well, Get the queen I on the phone. Answers. She came out in that blue and orange corset kind of swimsuit look. Mm -hmm. And her thing was, I'm going to make you laugh. And she just kept going, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I thought she looked great. She did. Yeah, that she was a beautifully really constructed costume. Yeah, and she did what Raven suggested, which was do bigger eyes. Fill in the space. Fill yeah. in the space. I, I thought it looked great. And Michelle didn't care for the balls that she put on the eyebrows, but mm -hmm. I loved them. That was I thought fun. that was so fun. I didn't she understand had, that uh, note. Truck cables sewn onto IKEA, Ikea bags. bags. Like yeah. how does that run through the needle? Yeah, and also I don't know if it, it was on the corset or if she just made a corset. I mean, that it was it was really amazing, was like really technically. Impressive. Yeah. And like she said, that wasn't a stretchy material. Okay, can I ask you this? Mm -hmm. Michelle very often comments on the fabric, and I know that fabric is hard to use, or I I know that that fabric is hard to work with. Has Michelle tried to sew an IKEA bag before? She's trying to convince us. How does us. she know that? She does what I do is, uh, you know, at the movie theater before pandemic, the movie theater, it was like, bring your own popcorn or bring your own bag. And they would fill it with popcorn and she would bring an Ikea bag. I used to do the same thing. I actually told her about it. You bring an Ikea bag and they have to fill it with popcorn because it's bring your own bag. They have to. Minutes. And then she, so she would sew more together to make a bigger bag. Is that what you're saying? Well, she would take that. She would collect the Ikea bags mm -hmm. and then she would sew them all together as a tarp. 
and then she would lay her big boobies on the tarp. For what? <laughs> Just to let to him read. Rest. Yeah, <laughs> they're heavy. You have to let them. <laughs> let the girls rest. You have to distribute the weight. <laughs> <laughs> then we have a horror. She oh my is god. COVID nineteen. Now she is in this blue. Uh, you're trying to decipher what I wrote. Yeah, I can't. Tell. She is in this blue rubber bin bag suit and she has those arms that are like that one dinosaur in Jurassic Park. Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus! Dilophosaurus! And she dialed, she did not dial it in, she Dilophosaurus those shoulders. She, she, she was here to prove, yeah. she, this was this was her moment. Mm -hmm. And as a final fuck you to sister sister. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Painted her fucking mouth blue. Yeah. Well, she was on her case this episode, so she kept bringing up, what are you gonna steal this week? Are you yeah. gonna steal this this week? So to send her home with like, I stole this from you, fuck you. Well, it was it was supposed to be a so mask. Big. Yeah, I know, but like, it, it did, was, it did it, look very sister, sister. Very sister, sister. Yeah. It was, it was nice. But it is, but it was funny and the whole look was stunning. Stunning. It was, yeah, her gorgeous. makeup is yes. incredible. The, uh, the like that, belt that, thing. That, oh yeah, gorgeous. she said it was like a light something gorgeous. fixture. She did not disappoint. And yes. any and any fashion houses in London, okay, who are... That's Australia. I went to Australia. Yeah. Any fashion houses? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, 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 no. Any fashion houses, right, who are telling her no. 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 Can and say Any no. fashion houses no. who are telling her no. Biscuit. Need to... Take a good hard look at themselves. I thought Ahura looked so fantastic, and I love that when she walked out and she did the, the judges actually said, <gasps> wow. Yes. They haven't been very responsive to Ahura's runways no. in ways that I felt like they should have been. So it was really, as a viewer, it felt mm. really nice to yeah. see her get that. Feels like the judging in the first couple episodes was like, huh? And it feels like they're finally catching up. That's yeah. just very animalistic. Maybe we There's something just up. very natural about It's like, you know how mm -hmm. uh, peacocks will spread their feathers to seduce that's just something that us animals like to see yeah or like when raccoons have you ever seen like videos of people or when like you spread your legs out? yeah raccoon well there's something down there it's been oh, alive okay. but I, I don't know i haven't <laughs> seen it in a while they hunch their back over so they're standing up on all four legs like this it's really bizarre yeah. looking i'd be scared there's a really funny like short uh uh tick tock of somebody like filming a raccoon like that because the raccoon's like standing up to Ooh. be like threatening and she's laughing and then as she gets close the raccoon <gasps> attacks oh my god it's Fun. It's funny. If I see a raccoon do that, not, no. get down. Get down. No, no. way. Stop, Stop it. Stop. Stop it. I do not want to be mauled. But I did think a whore looked good. But I'd love to go she to did. the mall. <laughs> I love the malls. Would you ever go to the mall and hang out with your friends? Yeah. Oh, yeah all the time. At Lids. Lids. Oh, Lids. Lids. Oh, let's get Lids. For uh, those of you in the UK who may not have it, Lids was a store of just hats. Hats. Just hats. Oh, hats. Just hats. Crazy. Any kind of hat you want, but also they were all like... Hard like, yeah. like for yeah. dudes. Next was Bimini Von Bulash. Her character's name is Dr. Isabella Von Blows a lot. Long mm. name. Sex. She ended up scrapping mm. her first idea of, of toilet paper titties mm -hmm. and going into, um, she found the shower curtain fabric and she kind of made like a one shoulder gown. I thought she looked really pretty. She had like the slick back blonde hair. Mm -hmm. I thought she looked gorgeous. Her makeup was. I know. Yeah. And I thought the construction of the garment was really good. I know that they yeah. said it doesn't look like she put in as much effort as others, and, and perhaps she didn't because she did have to change her plan, but I thought it worked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd wear that. Yeah, I thought she looked she great. She said that it was giving Vivian Westwood tees mm -hmm. slash. Yeah, and, and even Pamela Bruce Anderson. said, like, that's very clear. Mm -hmm. I yeah. loved it. Yeah. T top marks. Um, Two toilet paper titties for Bemini. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> On a scale of how many? A nine Two. pack. Oh, how many dudes do you have? Oh, titties. Yeah. Well, I do. I have. I do like with Michelle. I have like four. Michelle has. Michelle four. has four titties. Yeah, because she got two of them taken out recently. Not, not canceled. quantity quality. <laughs> yeah, you're canceled for sure. Canceled. Yeah. Sorry. Up next is Ellie Diamond. Ellie Diamond came out as Exuberant Ellie. This was very Candyland tease. This mm -hmm. was very Bubblegum Princess. Mm -hmm. That's why I wore great. this dress. I wanted to pay oh, homage cute. to Ellie. I loved it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know they said that it was like uh, like on brand, but like 
Again, who cares Great. if it's good? Yeah. It's yeah. so good. It's constructed really well. She has a lot of crafting skills. Well, the judges didn't say that it was too on brand and it wasn't daring enough. It was the girls. And when they went back and untuck, she said, like, for those of you who said I should go home next, how do you feel now? And Sister Sister was like, I thought you were in the bottom. You thought that Ellie Diamond in that look was in the bottom? Like, what? Honestly, did she get a flipper for her eyes? Are those her eyes? Mm -mm, the glass. <laughs> a flipper for her eyes? <laughs> yeah, it was like two plastic. Two giant pieces. teeth. Just, uh, mm. Speaking of Sister Sister and Oof. the bottom, mm. let's talk about this. She was the Garden of Sheedon coming out looking like Little Shop of Horrors. No, that wasn't funny. Um, no, but it's true. It was hor horrible. Oh, well, horrible. I wrote Little Runway of Horrors. Is that funnier? Yeah, do that one. She came out and her name was Garden of Sheedon. It's a little more like the Little Runway of Horrors. She <laughs> little Runway of Horrors. <laughs> 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 <sighs> Did you get your lie? Yeah, that was good. Were you living that for that good. mama? Huh. Well, let's talk about this look because it was a lot. It was upsetting to see. First of all, she came out facing the back, so we got to see the back of her flower thing, which was a full canvas. Yeah. And then she turned around, and it was lollipop guild on acid. It, <sighs> so the issue I had, well, there, I had a lot of issues okay, with this, yes. but I think yeah. the biggest thing that was like upsetting to me, so upsetting, her outfit underneath was like a one-legged jumper and even that with wasn't no well body. constructed. With yeah, nobody. Yeah, and like the the hem wasn't done on the bottom. Like you put all this time and effort into all this extra stuff, but even your base garment isn't... It was weird. Isn't even... My thing know. was, I'm sure that wig looked really cool styled. Yes. But she covered up the hairline and she made it look like... She just undid all her makeup because from far away it made her look like caveman like... Yeah. You know what I mean? Neanderthal. I feel like the yeah. flowers could have been really cool had the undergarment been like a beautiful gown or something and lose the ivy. To all the drag queens and drag performers who are auditioning for Drag Race, if you get on the show, don't do a tree trunk. Never make your body a tree trunk. It yeah, never goes Kimura, well. Well, Kimura... Well, at least well, no, she wore but, body for that. Like, but That's what I'm saying. She Every time someone she shows up down. in that, it looks bad. It looks bad. Don't do that. Don't do that. She was really proud of the look, though. And she was so proud of it. Was, that's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. There's a level of delusion. When you lose the, the self-awareness, I'm out. Because if you can't see what I'm seeing... Do seeing, you not think maybe, though, she was just putting it on for the cameras and for herself to make she her so... seem more confident? I wonder if that's what it was. Cause but she, she made was, that. She made that. She wore that with her whole body. Mm -hmm. I know. That's what I'm saying is like, I think she was pretending like if I pretend like it's great, everyone else will agree with me. Like that kind of fake it till you feel it. Well, vibe. we didn't agree. No, neither did, not did agree. the judges. Mm -hmm. And she wasn't really that pleasant this episode. She no. was really... Such a dick. Really sinister. Sister, sister. She was, which is the one? Tamara. Tamara's the one we don't like. Which is the one we don't like. I don't she know. got under your skin. She really did. Yeah. It's something that happens every season. Someone yeah. who you think shouldn't be there overstays their welcome. So automatically you just kind of, they rub you the wrong way because they stay too long. Well, maybe that's what she knows how the girls feel about her. So now she's reciprocating that kind of hateful energy. Oh. She's like, you know, well, maybe. Are you well, saying what goes around? I can't say it. Get off me! Sorry. <laughs> Comes but around. Just... Hey! <laughs> confetti! <laughs> confetti! Will you do white confetti strings coming down every time we say come? It'll be like Sesame Street. Oh my god. No, I'm not going to do that. It'll be like Sesame Street. We could do Hillary Clinton. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, while while we're in this dark place, Girl. while we're in this terrible dark place, Ahura ends up winning, and what does she say? Yes, she says, "Ah, oh. wait, what's she saying? Finally, I feel like I could come, baby." It's a uh, hashtag same hashtag me. Hashtag yes. no no. no I, I, saw, I said hashtag me. I just said hashtag me. Hashtag me. Hashtag me. That's so, hashtag congratulations, me. Congratulations, Ahura. Well deserved. Very well deserved. I mean. Uh, just excellence. She's 
sickening. The bottom two, very clear bottom two, there was no guessing there. Yeah. Was taste, and you wrote sissy pissy instead of sister sissy. Sissy pissy. I wrote huh. sissy pissy because she has been so pissy been so all pissy. episode. Yeah. They're lip syncing to Don't Be So Hard on Yourself by Jesse Klein. I never heard that, that song before. I like it. Oh no, that's probably on her Spotify. She sings uh, with Clean Bandit too. She does like a lot of electronic music. Ooh, oh, I, love I like computers. I like all my bandits dirty. In the lip sync, we do get to see a lot of Sister Sister. They're really focusing on her, mm -hmm. and we're only getting kind of shots of Tace in the background. Tace looked gorgeous, Stunning. and I think Tace took control of the stage and was very calm, and I think that's always a winning strategy when the other person is having a seizure. It becomes so chaotic that you just need your eye to go to something that's confident and, and calm. I did think it was funny though, Taste tried to do the Naomi Smalls bend backward thing, but she couldn't go as low as Naomi does. So she was like, here I go, here I go. Nope, that's where it's stopping. <laughs> and then it's just the top of her head and she's like, <laughs> yeah. I just thought it was funny because it was like a lot of close-ups of Sister Sister, but you could see the girls in the background like clearly looking at Tace and like, yeah. 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 Tace looked stunning. She was, she hit that Tace last beat like, boom. Mm -hmm. Oh. Remember that? Remember that? Oh, yeah. when she did that. It seems like Sister Sister <sighs> isn't used to lip syncing and Tace is. Okay. Let's say this. Okay. We've been... I've been hating on Sister Sister this entire episode. I'm hating on the Sister Sister that I saw on TV. Yes. All of these queens have success in their hometowns, are have careers of their own. So I'm sure Sister Sister brings something great to her local village. Yeah. So I'm not saying that she's like sucks a drag, but as far as the TV show goes, I, I, I think we saw what she could do and I'm good. Well, and the judges agreed because she did lose the lip sync. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I do think she kind of left with a kind of a smile on her face. Did she? she because she wrote was, hate you girls yeah. on that mirror. And I but don't that think that came from thing. a place of that play. That was her whole thing. This whole episode was like, I'm going to be mean and bitchy. That's my like funny. I think she was trying to make a, like a character choice out of that. It, it didn't work. It's like when you, okay. You know, like when you meet someone in the club and like, they're like, ooh, a drag queen who's kind of mean on the microphone. They're like, hi, you're ugly. And you're like. Well, I'll go even further. That's what Sister Sister was giving yeah. me. Yeah, I'll go even further as to say a lot of new queens think being mean and being funny are the same thing. Not everyone can do both like Darby. Oh, no. Some it's people, a skill. Some people are missing, like, the wink and the smile out of it, and I think that's what happened with this last version of Sister Sister. But I don't think it showed up until after the break. It's the flipper. Toddlers and tiaras, that's why those toddlers are so out of control. Hateful. It's because they have adult teeth in their mouth and oh. they don't know what to do. I would be confused. And sister too. sister had two sets of teeth in her mouth. She didn't know what to do. Teeth on top of teeth. Teeth Leave on top her of teeth, teeth alone. Teeth. Leave her teeth uh, alone. I could talk about teeth. My teeth look like candy corn. <laughs> I can make fun of people's teeth. The tricolor teeth. <laughs> I couldn't decide on a color, so I picked all three. <laughs> so goodbye. Yeah. Forever. Sister, sister. Bye. No, I'm, I'm glad you said what you needed to say. I hope you don't regret anything that you said about her because someone had to say it. No, I don't. I don't. And, and I think what I'm saying is, is very much in reaction to a choice that she made, to this character that she became. Mm -hmm. So, no. I, and a choice that a lot of queens make that they don't have to make. Right. That yeah. if you're being sassy and mean, what what is it saying? You know that meme of like, this is what I'm saying, but in my head, this is what's happening. Yeah. I hear that blurb of mean in your head. I think you are nervous. You know, yeah. you don't know what to say, so you're just going to be mean because that's what they expect you to say. Why don't you calm down and then say something nice about me? Ooh, yeah. I like that. Episode over. Episode we over. Episode over. The winner. The winner was was the horror. Oh, oh, we did that, right? oh, okay, we yeah, did. Okay. Yeah. Episode over. And Morning. NHS, of course. And the NHS. NHS. The yeah. NHS. Of course. Next week is a comedy one. A comedy a roast. I'm very excited for this. I'm I'm I think excited those girls for Bimini. Are funny. I think they're funny. I think mm -hmm. Bimini's gonna do really well. Gross. I'm obsessed with Bimini. Bimini yeah. is really. I just, yeah. th see that? Okay. 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 Ooh, okay. Discuss. So Bimini comes back from the break, and she is way more refined. 
and more fully realized. Sister Sister comes back from the break and she's like a sassy person. I don't think she's being genuine. I think yes. Sister Sister is. Not and that's what genuine. it is. Bimini's being genuine mm -hmm. and she looks great. Mm -hmm. It's a shitty, shitty situation, yeah. but I think some of these girls have used it to their advantage. All right, so now it's time. We've done it every week and we'll continue to do it every week. Jen, mm -hmm. you okay? No, I was telling myself, what do I need a couple weeks ago because. It was just so dark outside, and today, and yesterday, and some days before that, it was sunlight. Mm -hmm. And I just needed to bask in nature's original natural resource, the OG natural resource. Yeah. Not oil, mm -mm. Not, not all fossil fuels. This is mm -mm. The, mm -hmm. sun. the sun. The sun. The sun. Thank you, Vitamin sun. Vitamin D. I salute you, son. Stare right into you. Son, daddy, grandpa. Mm -hmm. Oh, the holy trinity. <laughs> It was a little holy. Speaking of holes, Darby, mm -hmm. <laughs> UK. Yes. Mm. Alexis. Yeah. UK. I'm doing really good. Thank you. I'm okay. Yeah. Agree about the sun. Agree about the weather. Yeah. Super happy our show is back. I love singing with my girl. Mm -hmm. You're my favorite person to sing with. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, Jude. Well, oh, we're the, the trip. Yeah. The trip. The three. The trio's we're, coming. We're working on it. The we're trio's working. coming. But also, I want to say this Wednesday, if you haven't seen, oh, we yeah. have a very exciting opportunity. We are teaming up with the folks over at Sloppy Pod, Big Dipper, and Meatball, and we're going to be raising money for some mutual aid funds in Texas to get some money to our home state Ooh. and a place where you have been once. I have been there once. And this time um, get back. we're gonna. Well, we've got. Of money we've got a fun technology. little. We've got a fun little evening planned. It's gonna be this coming Wednesday, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this coming Wednesday. You can go to sloppysecondstickets.com yeah. to get your tickets. There's a five dollar and a ten dollar ticket. Really doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, it does matter because one's more. But all of that money, including tips, it's all that night is gonna go to mutual aid funds in Texas. Yeah. Yeah. Raise some money for the people in Texas. So it, you can get there and you can be like, oh, well, five dollars. Should I really get the ten dollar ticket? Yeah, it's going to Texas. Give it to Texas. But pay what you can. We're all in a pandemic. Oh yeah, pay yeah, what you can, what but you do can. ten dollars. Come on, girl. I know y'all are looking for something to do. <laughs> yeah, Patrons, and if you, come along. Yeah, and if you don't live in the area, you can't watch it that night, you'll be able to access it for 48 hours after. So buy the tickets okay. now, and you can watch it later. There as soon as we put it up, apparently we got like 80 ticket sales. <gasps> Isn't that nice? That's very I'm nice. I'm so excited to get They're to play like with them. because 75 they are... of them are our patrons. Yeah, yeah like, there you I, go. I know our patrons are going to be nuts in that chat. There you go. We have good patrons. I am just so excited because they're so funny, and I think the five of us together. I oh, adore so Meatball. She does yes. think my name is Darby Lynn Cartwheel. That's fine. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, and good. I need a change. Good. We actually have also been raising money for Texas. We have been asking if you give a donation and say for Texas that we'd be giving that to Bread of Life. Because you have done that, we have been able to give a well, Phil, I think I dropped something. Your hope for taxes. There you no, go. you got to keep the hope high. Oh. Not only have you been giving to Bread of Life, but you've also been giving to us so that we can purchase bread and continue to live our lives. So thank you so much. We want to take time to thank everyone who has given a tip, given a donation. We're going to do that now through song. Mm -hmm. And that song is... I think we all know, so let's just count us down. Ready? Oh, mm -hmm. sure. Three. Two, one. Miss Independence. the brick. Miss with Texas. Miss your brick. Miss with Texas. Do you know you're all? Miss afraid. Can you say you can? Miss half a mile away. Miss don't want to interfere. Oh. No, we don't have the right size. We're going to take it down. Oh, it's going to pick up the yes. algorithm. Yeah, the algorithm. Okay, careful. Well, we Kelly sound just Clarkson. like Kelly Clarkson. Yeah. That sounded like Green Kelly Clarkson. She's from Texas. Or she likes gay people. Who's well, not? I, I saw it on Twitter. She uh, There was someone that was like, by the way, I'm gay. And she was like, yes, you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> I love gay. <laughs> Uh, on the was voice. Like, okay. Yeah, on the voice. Yeah. Thank you so much for giving. We are going to continue since we are doing a Texas fundraiser this week. Let's just keep going with that. So if you yeah. give to our Venmo, Cash App, or PayPal, you can just put for Texas or Bread of Life or mm -hmm. you know something Texan in there, a cowboy hat perhaps, mm -hmm. and we will donate that to Bread of Life. Mm -hmm. Or you could just put for the girls mm -hmm. by something that you can put in your mouth. 
it is good karma to tip your queens, but if you don't have anything to tip, you can still subscribe. Okay, mm -hmm. you're watching the show for free, you go ahead and create the account, you, you, you put your name and your password, all that stuff, and then you just hit subscribe, and then you hit like the video, it's free! Well, well you gotta hit yeah. the bell, you out. gotta hit the bell, you gotta when hit you the get bell. the notification, you go, <gasps> you have to hit the bell, girl, cause we have the tea. Well, when we, when we show up, when people get mm -hmm. the bell notification, mm -hmm. a lot of times, they're like, getting married, mm -hmm. they're waiting in line mm -hmm. at the divorce office, you know, those kinds of things, and they'll <laughs> stop and watch. Yeah. Do you take this man? Hang on. Mm -hmm. And while you're watching the episode, if you're looking at it and you say, I wish there was more, uh, guess what? There is. And it's all on Patreon. You'll get exclusive content, a podcast sometimes, and extra little things here and there. Oh. Just Early for access, you. Discord. Mm -hmm. Early access, Chance, Advice from me, performances. Chance performances. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, our entire Two Queens singing. We do put a lot of shit on that. I like Patreon. Well, yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too. Me too. We get really nice messages on there. I do get... I, really sweet. Sometimes it makes me a little teared up. Yeah, They're yeah. So the, nice. the, they get really vulnerable and I'm like, I'm glad that we can make a difference yeah. in your life. And I'm glad that like, we don't have to be as vulnerable all the time. Like we could be like, thank you for being vulnerable and then I make a fart joke and they get it. Yes. You know? The drag queens. Yeah, drag queens. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that we need to address before we go? Uh, I don't think so. Everyone watch The River Wild. Yeah, mm -hmm. you should watch The River Wild. Let it is a really good comment. movie. It's so fun. You should watch it. Okay. Kevin yeah. Bacon is such a bizarre looking person, but like, I'd do it. He has kind of always been hot. Kira Sedgwick. The closer. The closer. <laughs> All right. Well, take, take, take. Take that. Take you. it tomorrow <laughs> off. Take it to Queen. The Queen. Don't edit the Queen. Bye. That was solid. <laughs> <laughs> Tibby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Give me that stick. Give me that stick. Let's go. Let's go!